Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology. In today's video, we will be doing our weekly predictions for our Virgos, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of January 10th through January 16th. So let's go ahead and get right into you guys' reading. What's going on with my Virgos, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of January 10th through January 16th? What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? Quick disclaimer before we get into you guys' reading. For some of you guys, this energy is going to happen in chronological order throughout the week. And for the rest of you guys, it may happen sporadically throughout the week. So just take what resonates with you. All right. Let's do this. What's going on with my Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of January 10th through January 16th? What can they expect? What should they look out for? what energy is surrounding them. So we have the Page of Cups to start off the week. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So you guys are going to be working hard this week. Wow, you guys have the Nine of Cups. I absolutely love seeing the Nine of Cups coming out. And the Three of Wands. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Ooh. We have the Page of Swords. Let me get one more card for my Virgos. Sun, moon, and rising signs. More than one card is falling out. It's like five. <laughs> okay. And then you have the world in reverse. Okay, you guys. Back of deck energy is King of Cups energy. This King of Cups energy is someone who is easy to talk to. I feel like you guys may have some people coming around you who may need to vent or need to express how they're feeling. Um, a lot of you guys just may have um, a man who may be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces that you may be leaning on for comfort this week just the shoulder to cry on um the reason i'm seeing the shoulder to cry on um it's because you guys do have the ace of cups in reverse right here so a lot of you guys just may be emotionally blocked at some point this week because you've been working and overworking yourself um during this week is what i see so let's get into you guys' reading so you guys only have one major arcana card this week which is the world being in reverse and that is someone who is probably working with limitations or may feel like they are working with limitations based off of their emotions so i feel like this week is most definitely going to be a successful week for you guys but you guys may experience some type of emotional um experience it may just be emotional anxiety or you just need time to vent because you're always working and you don't have that time or you don't set aside that time to just express yourself how you want to all right so let's get right into this all right you guys so the page of cups energy is what i'm seeing for you guys and this page of cups energy is someone who is always dreaming someone who is always thinking about their dreams and their success their goals someone who is always inspired by other people's ideas to help motivating them to continue working all right you guys this eight of pentacles energy a lot of you guys like i was saying with this page of cups energy 
either pairing up because you're feeling inspired to do something or start something new this eight of pentacles is you getting down to business getting that work done working on it you feeling and being so concentrated on what it is that you're doing a lot of you guys may be taking a class or you may be training for a new job or you may be training for like a new skill whatever it is you're working hard at it as you can see the miser are doing <laughs> are hitting those pentacles all right they're not playing any games so this is you virgo and this is also your energy as well um as well as capricorn and taurus energy so be aware of that you being hard working which is always um always doing something always concentrating but also i'm feeling called by spirit that you guys should take a break at some point from working make sure in a day's time that you're not working eight hours straight make sure that when you're doing your job you set aside like some 15 30 minute breaks hour lunch break or whatever is best for you if you want to work four hours have an hour break then work four more hours that's cool but just make sure you're you're setting aside time for you to actually breathe and not be focused on work just relax your brain okay all right you guys so you guys have the nine of cups i keep seeing the nine of cups for this week for some of the cards and it's like people are appreciating you people are welcoming you to like a new community welcoming you to this new part of life a lot of you guys are going to be welcomed into entrepreneurship a lot of you guys are going to be welcomed into a family um just being praised and loved and joyful you know you're going to feel welcome and i feel like that's where this energy this king of cups energy is going to come from where you may be needing to vent and let somebody know how you've been feeling the work that you've been putting in but you're finally going to be recognized okay all right you guys so with this three of wands energy what I'm seeing with this three of wands energy is a lot of you guys are going to be launching a project. We've talked about that a little bit with this page of cups energy. You know, you starting something new, eight of pentacles coming right in for you to put the work in, you being praised for it with the nine of cups energy, and then boom, three of wands, you're probably working on something else to branch off of it. You know, multiple streams of income. A lot of you guys are just working on bettering yourself bettering your health is what i'm getting as well and also bettering your life and the people around you okay um also with you launching a project you just may be being very productive with this you know eight of pentacles energy continuing for you guys all right now you guys have the ace of cups in reverse now with the ace of cups energy being in reverse like i was telling you guys a lot of you guys may be feeling emotional or spiritually blocked at some point during this week where you're needing to write down how you feel burn it let it go um call someone up that you trust and that you love that you know that will give you the best advice um allowing that time to relax and release um, if you guys do not set aside time for you to relax and release spirit is going to do it for you you're gonna be like what is going on but it's going to be because you need that time to regather your energy because you're going to become depleted all right you guys have the page of swords energy now this is someone who is very competitive all right so you guys may see yourself getting back out there being competitive or you know you just may be having a clear vision of some things seeing some people that you do need to communicate with some people that you don't need to communicate with anymore or no longer and you know getting useful information that is going to help you elevate in your life all right and then you have this world that is in reverse which is kind of sort of the highlight of the week really and that's working with limitations and i feel like you guys are going to experience working with limitations if you do not relax and release if you do not allow yourself to you know pamper yourself heal yourself some downtime taking breaks from working excessively um you're going to start experiencing those 
you're going to start experiencing those limitations and those emotional and spiritual blockages. All right. So I'm going to shuffle the numerology cards to see what my Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs should focus on mainly this week. So the first card to come out was creativity. All right. And you did get the three of wands. So threes are all about being creative going on new ventures i see a lot of you guys launching new things starting new projects making more money or just starting and being recognized by a family or by your job or by people on social media you just may be getting recognized a lot this week i also see spiritual partnerships so with you know someone coming to you venting to you or you venting to them that is a spiritual partnership because you're able to exchange that energy and knowing that energy is not going no further than you guys' conversation you're not going to feel like they're telling your business to someone else um during this time and you guys also have moderation and you guys we talked about moderation you guys are needing to relax you guys are needing to take your time slow down a little bit um and not just go 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 um during this week so let's go ahead and get into you guys' moonology cards to see what energies are surrounding you guys during the week of january 10th for january 16th so the first card to come out was a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra and just like we talked about with the nine of cups energy people are going to be appreciating you praising you and giving you you know good reviews and being honest with you but you got to take some time to rest the next card that we have that came out is believe in the impossible all right and last but not least we have a time for healing so yes we did discuss that a little bit a lot of you guys need to pamper yourself do what it is that you need to heal yourself to uplift yourself out of any emotional blockages any spiritual blockages that you may be experiencing so i shuffled the astrology cards to see what energies other energies are surrounding you guys during this week so we have cancer which is this is uh, this energy is emotional sensitive caring and loving it may concern family a mother or a child you guys also have aquarius energy this energy is freedom loving rebellious idealistic and technological and you guys also have the third house energy which is cancer energy no not cancer energy i apologize this is gemini energy your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood all right we're gonna shuffle the starseed oracle cards to see what messages you guys have from spirit Ooh. okay so the first card to come out is star family you're a part of a team of souls calling support so yeah you most definitely may be calling venting to someone letting them know how you feel during this week you guys also have trust the timing trust the wave you came in on time is not running out time is of an illusion really it's really an illusion <laughs> I'm gonna get one more card we have weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry and that's more confirmation of you venting letting someone know how you're feeling and what you want to do in your life having a little cry session if you need to during this week so thank you Virgos for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, leave comments down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload and I'll see you guys in my next reading.